there are multiple ways to create a thread. One thing we have seen which is of thread by extending a class by thread, but we have more options. But why do we need more options? Now think about this. Let's say this class A want to extend some other class. Let's say we have one more class here. Um, and the class name is Z, and this it, I want this to be a parent class and A to be a child class. So I want to basically make this A as thread as well as I want to make this as a subclass of Z. And we all know, right, the multiple inheritance in Java is not possible. So how do we solve this problem? So this idea of extending a thread is not actually a good idea. So the other option we have is, okay, let's go back. The other option we have is if you click on this thread, if you observe thread is a class which implements runnable, okay? And if you go to runnable, you can see we have the method called run. Now this is important, right? If you remember in the code which we have written, we have went with a class name or we have went with a method name called run, right? That actually means that if I implement a runnable here instead of using a thread, even this should work. Right, because it has a run method. So what I will do now is instead of extending with a thread, I will simply implement it with the help of an interface called runnable. Okay, so both decide. Now I have a choice of extending a class as well if you have some other class, because uh, we can have a class which is extending another class or implementing an interface at the same time. But the point is you can create thread like this as well. You are making this class A as runnable, okay? Now by doing this, what, how, how can we work with this? The moment you go down, uh, first of all, let me just remove this. We don't need this code. In fact, you know, before I continue, I just want to make some more changes to the code. Uh, the first code, the first thing I'm going to change is instead of having, uh, let's say 100 iterations, let's go for five iterations so that we can see the output fast. And yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so the start will not work. You know why the start will not work? It's because in the runnable interface, we don't have a start method. The start method before was coming from thread class. Okay, that's weird. So we can't use this, right? See, the idea is if you want to, if you have a runnable class, example, this A is actually a runnable class, right? A class which is implementing runnable. So in that case, if you want to work with start, you can't do that. So in that case, what you can do is you can create a two different threads. So you can say T1, this is your first thread. And then you got T2. This is your second thread, right? So we got two threads here. And instead of saying obj1.start, we have to say t1.start because we know that start method belongs to a thread. And problem solved, right? You can see now we are able to call uh, start. Now let's see if this works. I will just go back here and uh, compile, run. Oh, that's weird. We have not got any output. See, the thing is, Yes, we got two threads. Yes, we are saying start. It, it, it's actually creating two threads behind the scene, but it's not doing anything because these two threads have no idea about this obj1, obj2. They have no idea about these two classes. So in that case, what we do is, if you go to thread constructor, you can see thread has multiple constructor. One of the constructor takes a runnable object. That means, obj1 here is actually a runnable object. You know, let me prove that. So instead of using A, can I use runnable? And we have seen that, right? We can create a reference of the interface and object of a class. Even here, we have to say the reference of the interface and object of a class, okay? So what we can now do is, in this particular constructor of thread, we can pass obj1, and here we can pass obj2. So we are passing the runnable object in the thread class or the thread constructor. Now there's a link, right? So when you say start, it will know that which run, run, which run to call. So this start will call the run of these two classes. Let's see if this works. I will say clear, compile, run. Oh, it worked. Can you see that we got hi, hello, hi, hello, and it is working. So basically whenever you want to uh, create a thread, we have two choices. You can extend a thread class or you can implement a runnable interface. The only thing is this runnable interface will not have the thread methods. In that case, you need to create a separate thread object and then we can use these features. 
Okay. Now, if you remember, we have also learned about lambda expression, right? So like, let's reduce this code by implementing lambda expression. Okay, and let's do that step by step. Now, if I ask you one thing, the entire class A, why we are getting this class? We are getting this class is because we want to implement runnable, right? Okay, that makes sense. How about if I remove this class? So of course, this runnable will not work. Example, let's say, if I comment the entire section here, okay, even this part, if I comment the entire section, you can see this will give you an error. So I want to create a runnable obj1, but I can't create a because we don't have a. So can I say new runnable? Of course we can, right? We have seen how do we uh, create, how do we use anonymous class to create the object? So imagine this is anonymous class, right? Now in this anonymous class, we have to implement the method which is there in the runnable. Now which method is there? The same method which we have here. So can I just copy this code from here and I can say copy and paste. At le let me remove the entire comment section. So basically what we're doing is we are instanti we are trying to instantiate our interface with, with the help of an anonymous class here. And in this class, which is which has a method which is run, and basically we can we are basically implementing this renewable here itself, right? Okay, that works. Let me just try if this works before we continue. So I will say compile and run. It works. Can you see that we got the output? Okay, that's great. Okay, what else we can do? Uh, can we do it for the second one as well? Yeah, we can, right? But before we go for that one, can I convert this into a lambda expression? And we have seen that, right? Lambda expression works whenever you have a functional interface and runnable is actually a functional interface, which means I can use lambda here. And in lambda, this is optional. So I can remove this. I can put a arrow here and I can remove this bracket as well. Okay, this looks cool and I can just put that back here. Okay. So as you can see, I have written everything in one line for the try so that, you know, it will be over in one line. And now, uh, can, we, can we just do it for the second object as well? Of course I can. I can just copy this code. And the only thing we know we need to change is the hello part, right? So from hi, we have to make this hello. That's the only change I have to make. And I don't even need these two classes now. I can remove them. And see the number of lines we have reduced. And also, if you know that this class will be used only once, so this makes much more sense to use, right? Uh, the anonymous class, and we can convert that into Lambda as well. So this is the, uh, the Lambda version of it. Cool. And now we can simply run this and this should work. Compile and run and it works. And that's the beauty about Lambda Experiment, right? And you can reduce the number of lines you have and there's no extra classes. See, it will be tricky to type the entire thing from start to end uh, because till this point, what we are doing is we are trying to convert the anonymous class into Lambda expression, which is easy, but typing the Lambda in the first go will be difficult. So just try it out multiple times. You might make mistakes with the syntax, but ultimately you will get used to it. So th those are two, two options we have, creating with the help of extending with a thread and by implementing the interface runnable. And yeah, that's it from this video.